If you're trying to make your video stand out and look more professional, that process can be really tough sometimes, especially if you're a beginner. So today I want to share with you three simple editing tricks that you can use that'll make your videos better. And the first trick I have for you today is to cut out the dead space. A lot of times we'll have dead or quiet moments in between our sentences and a good way to bore your audience and really slow down the pacing of your video is to just leave those empty spaces in instead of getting rid of them. Now, in my opinion, those little quiet bits can be really distracting, but sometimes they're intended to be there, whether that's for comedic purposes or to just build suspense, for example. In those cases, they're they're okay. However, I'm talking about the empty spaces that are not intended to be there. For example, let's say that I'm editing this talking head clip. As I'm editing, I can see that in between those two sentences, there's just a couple of seconds of me not saying or doing anything. See, it's just kind of awkward. So the first thing I'll do to fix this is isolate it and delete it. Now we have this. In our situation of darkness in this It's a little better, but the jump cut here is a little distracting. This is where trick number two comes in. Use J cuts. If you don't know, a J cut is basically a cut where you hear the audio of the next clip before you actually see it. Now I use J cuts all the time. As a matter of fact, I'm using J cuts for the entirety of this video and pretty much every video that I make. If you haven't noticed yet, pay close attention. You'll notice that you hear the beginning of my next sentence before the cut actually happens. Just like this. Here's how you do it. I'll move the first clip up to the second video track. Then I'll move the audio of the next clip down to the second audio track. I'll explain why I did that in a second. But next, I'm going to drag that same clip back over to where my last sentence stopped. Let's listen. Today. In our situation of darkness, and that is a J cut. If you look at it, it actually resembles the letter J a little bit. So there, there you go. Now, the reason why I moved that audio track down is because if I had done the exact same thing without moving it down, it would have overlapped the previous audio and just cut the ending of that sentence out. Good news to us today. In our situation of darkness, you see, like that. And you don't want that. So that's why I moved it down to the second audio track so we've cut out all the dead space use j cuts but sometimes when the cut isn't good you just have to hide it one of the ways to hide a bad cut is to use b-roll this this is where trick number three comes in and b-roll is basically secondary footage that goes on top of your main footage an example of a bad cut is for example in my previous video if i pull it up here you can see that i used a j cut here but something about that cut felt a little bit too distracting I think that's because in both cuts, I was standing in slightly different spots, but anyway, I noticed that it didn't flow too well. So I put some B-roll over it and now it's much better. Now when adding B-roll, it's important that it relates to what you're talking about. Don't just throw any footage in there just to hide the cut. In that video, I was talking about how I love going out in nature so I can focus and be at peace. If you haven't seen that video, there's a link up here and also in the description. But that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video, learned something new from it. If you're new here, my name is Samuel Peter and I create filmmaking content. If that's something you're interested in, feel free to like this video, share with your friends, or even subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching this video and have a blessed day.